Hello, it's me, RJB, and I'm back once again for RJB TV to bring you some StarCraft Fastest Map Remastered, as a certain person would always call it. Love that guy. Great videos he makes as well. I'm gonna, I kind of want to do a little shout out in the, in the, the description, so everyone knows what I'm talking about. We have to look in the in the description to find out who, who I'm talking about. By the way, I'm not gonna tell you. So, to focus on the match itself, maybe I've already cast this one, I'm not too sure actually. Yeah, I might have casted it. <laughs> I honestly don't know. But anyway, we've got Voss here on the top corner, also known as JH. J.H. He's playing the Olive Green Terran, and we've got Humber Kasazi on the bottom of the map, playing the Purple Zerg. Now, if you now we've got. We you know, all know that uh, Humber Kasazi has a very good. Zerg versus Terran. Sometimes he kind of goes for weird stuff that doesn't really end up working out, but most of the time everything works out just perfectly fine. So it goes for a hatch pretty early there in the front. He wants to choke up his front wall of his entrance with some sunken pool there on the way as well, whereas the Voss just steadily building up into more barracks. And honestly, I'm not too sure. I honestly think I already casted this one. Maybe I watched it already, I'm not I'm not sure, but let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. And we'll find out whether I did this one or not afterwards. Actually it might be a great idea to pause this real quick and find out if I did or didn't. Alright, so after a very quick look for my YouTube channel, I discovered that I haven't cast this replay yet. Or so I believe. Honestly, yeah, yeah, I haven't done this one yet. This is definitely one I haven't done yet. So we're, we're, we're safe, we're completely safe. So let's just keep watching, see what's going on, and progress deeper into the match. Humber Kassasa always likes to scout the middle with that drone before making that creep colony there at his hatchery. Just to be sure there's nothing there on the middle, although he didn't scout the entire middle, he went into the middle by a fair bit and saw nothing. Sunken comes out just on time, he has a Zergling on the way. <laughs> That's something he does. If he finds nothing there on the middle, he makes only two Zerglings. In this case, he's making four, he's now making six in total. He starts off with drones first in that case. But the marine there in the back is gonna go down, another marine is there on the way, the sunken is gonna finish but it's only on 175 75 HP in fact. Because the creep colony has 400 HP and the sunken colony has 100. So more marines there on the way, SV there in the front there online as well but running away now because zerglings are out for Humber Kassasu and they're on the chase trying to get a catch on those marines but now the marines are turning around although the zerglings get a single one, no and actually he didn't get a single one, he almost got one. This one there in the front, but because there are too many marines, he had to turn tail and run back to his base, where he now has a lair on the way, because he has that single extractor mining gas. He got one pretty early, as he usually does. He's got a second... A second wow, it's hard to pronounce. He's got a second sunken colony there on the way in the front as well, or as Voss is going for the academy finishing up, and a factor there in the front pretty early on. He doesn't have stint upgrade yet, doesn't have it on the way either, but he's focusing on a couple medics, so he can try to bust through the front here, which is, I believe, his plan. That's something he always wants to try, bust through the front with marines once the stim upgrade finishes. And if it works, it works, and if it doesn't, he pulls back rather early instead of throwing away all of his marines in an attempt that doesn't work and might cost him the game. So always smart to turn tail if you notice that something isn't working and preserve those units. Lair has finished, we've got a Spire on the way, so we're going to be seeing some sweet Moodle Disk Micro coming in from Hamburg Asasu. More drones finishing up there as well. He will have to add a second, a second extractor there, even a third one if he wants to have enough gas to facilitate and produce those Moodle Disks. So Humber Kassasu knows what Voss is up to because he can see it with this Overlord there, I think. He can see the Marines, right there, he can see them. And because he can see them, he will not be caught off guard by Voss's plan to just stim his Marines into the fight, into those Sunkens, and try to break through. 
I think Voss knows, because Voss, or Voss doesn't know, he's going in nonetheless, he wants to stop those Suggles in the front, but the Suggles in the front are just a buffer for those Suggles in the back to damage those Marines. And just as I mentioned earlier, he pulls back, runs back into the middle, and keeps his Marines alive, and instead goes and builds an engineering bay, and waits for his tank to finish and arrive on the scene, but his tank is a little bit late. It's a little bit late, yeah? Not, not... Well, actually about 20 seconds or 30 seconds later than it could have been out. The siege mode is also a little bit later, but of course the tank has to roll all the way to the front there. So the siege mode will finish up right when it's about there, so everything is working just fine. He's got a Terran starport finished up as well. <coughs> Control tower being added on. I think he is going for a dropship first, because we don't see his science facility just yet. He can't afford it either, but I think he's going to go for a dropship first. Killed a couple of Zerklings there, more Marines are on the middle, he has the Engineering Bay lifted up into the air, tank is on the way. Engineering Bay provides additional vision for that tank to shoot and fire on those Sunkens, but while all that's happening we have those Mules coming out from Hamburg Asa, so he went for 8 at the same time. He stacks them up with a Larva or an Overlord, Overlord it is, they're in the bottom corner. And in he goes, trying to micro his way into killing that tank in the front to stop the tank push, but a turret there and the marines surrounding the tank are stopping this progression from happening. He tries really hard, picks up a single marine, but it's too hard to get in there. He might lose one of his mulisks soon, although it actually looks like most mulisks are still rather healthy. Because the damage has been spread out on multiple of those mulisks. One of them goes down, but he does kill up a couple of marines. But the progression here is still in favor of Voss as he's progressing forward. ODS take down three of those four of those sunkens. Engineering base slowly being taken down, forced to fly back, and denies the extended vision there. He loses another mule disc to those marines. Science facility now on the way. No, it's a second starboard. There's Valkyries on the way, so he didn't go for a drop, he went for Valkyries straight away. Umbrick decides to try to kill the Valkyrie, Valkyrie stays alive, he didn't stack. He didn't split up his Mulisks, but most of them are still alive. A couple of Sunkens here still in the front, I honestly think that if Voss hadn't wasted his Marines, he could now stim through those Sunkens and maybe win the game. Although, do note, the Mulisk count is very high. Valkyrie there doing a lot of damage to those, but if Valkyrie flies in way too far, Voss loses some of his attention span there, or is multitasking, loses one of the Valkyries, but another Valkyrie is already on the way, flying into the middle of the map. More Marines here about, they're doing with the tanks, more tanks arriving on the scene as well. But first he has to go through the hatchery, Hunter Krauser still is buying himself a lot of time, he has a Hive on the way, Hive is dead on the way there as well, he has some Scorches in the mist to try and snipe the Valkyrie, Valkyrie goes down, it's, gets stuck in in a shooting animation, which is pretty much just a stun for the Valkyrie where it is stuck in there. He keeps going in with 9 Mutalisks, not with any more or any less. He keeps 3 of them back in his base, he's trying to intercept some units and spend his minerals at the same time, which ends up losing him the Mutalisk, but he winds up finding the Valkyrie, but the Valkyrie does not go down. Beautiful Valkyrie might go there from Voss. Using the patrol micro click away to make the Valkyrie shoot and fly away at the same time. It's a pretty nifty trick and it can at times help you win the games or help you win small fights at most. In he goes, gets the Valkyrie, that means the Mulders can try to tear through the engineering bay but now there's Marines under the engineering bay. One Marine there gets pulled in, so he has the Lurker aspect on the way, he's got the Fire Consume on the way there as well. He's trying to kill the tank through the Engineering Bay and ends up killing the tank in the end. Pretty smart thinking there to use the Bounce to kill that unit. He still has no... oh, there's the Science Facility, he's adding on a lot of new Starports. And he has repelled Voss's army here in the front as well, who's now pulled back. Not feeling safe enough to keep his units out here in the front inside of Hamburg Tassu's, well, base, so to speak. So Lurkers have, fi um, Hylodus have finished, Lurker Aspect has finished as well, Consume close to finishing, we have 
Guardians and Devourers on the way first, so no Defiler yet, no Lurkers just yet. He's going to use Guardians first, he's still hunting for Valkyries, and he's going to use his Devourers to try and counter the Valkyries. He's trying to intercept some stuff, but the Scorches find nothing but death. Four of them escape and stay alive. Boss now tries to go in but loses a tank because he sieges it up a little bit too close to the Sunkens. And the Devourers are trying to get some debuffs going on those Valkyries there. But first he has to go in with the Guardians and clear out those units there in the front. So the Devourers can safely go in onto those Valkyries. He's baiting the Valkyries in, the Valkyries get micro backwards with the backwards shoot. The backwards shooting. Backwards patrol micro, I'll just call it that, otherwise it's, it sounds like shit and I don't want to say shit. I just said shit though. Nonetheless, more Valkyries arriving on the scene, going in, Devourers going in to debuff the Valkyries, and now Zerg is coming in on a low as well, but there's simply too many Marines. Also two, well, two dropships that are empty, so there's nothing to fear, but he's making Humber Kassasu fear those dropships. Valkyries going in to kill, but they won't get... Wait, they actually kill all of the Devourers there in the, bet, the, um, in the fight. Lurkers are sieging up, sieging up, burrowing up. To keep those marines away, marines are trying to go in nonetheless, but they can't go in and they go down. And it looks like Humbering Sasu has actually managed to pretty much lose nothing at all here. He is completely fine. It winds up turning out to be in Humbering Sasu's favor as Foss expends his entire army into a suicide run, trying to get something done but achieves nothing. Except killing those three sunken steps that were still there. But Humber Kasasu definitely comes out on top. He's got the Varus at uh, the Vilas now as well. He's transitioning into a ground force away from the air. The air was just there to get him into the later stages of the game and help him solidify an economy and a base. Which he now both has. He's got the tech, he's got a base, he's got the uh, Lucas Swarm there in the front to keep the enemy out. And we have more engineering base being built now for Voss, trying to get vision and control over the map. More Valkyries flying over the map. Vessels. Someone in the comments wants me to call them vessels. 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 But I'm still gonna still call them. I'm still gonna call them vessels because that's how we. It's just my accent, basically. Vessels. 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 Or I can call them vessels as well, as the Germans would call them. Vessels. Anyway, he's going in through the side here, trying to clear out those overlords and then go in with those um, vessels to radiate the drones with the help of those Valkyries tanking the damage. So he's waiting there on the side. And this is an important thing to keep my eye on because this is my this might be a deciding move here from Voss if he hits those drones. But I do believe that Humber Kassasu has Burrow finished. He has Plague on the way there as well. He's got Carapace and Weapon on the way for his Hydalisks and his Ground Forces. No Carapace for Air because he's moving away from Air and there the Valkyries and the Vessels are going in. He gets a Radiant on a drone that's on the gas so he won't end up killing that many drones there. He does pull it away just in case, just to keep those drones here. Um, away from the damage of the Radiate, he killed both Vessels there. Lurker Swarm still happening there in the front. So Humbrick's house is in the process of buying himself time to get bigger. But one of the problems with if you don't get big fast enough, your opponent is gonna get bigger faster than you. And that's what we're seeing right here. Six star ports and I think about 10 or 12 factories of which half are still in the making. Also, Voss is sniping those Ovals there on the sides with his Valkyries. It's a very nasty move, very annoying to deal with when you're the Zerg. But he pulls it off quite well, gets some progress down there, more drops now coming in from the bottom side. Tank drops, there's four tanks in there. And that's also another way of trying to get those drones killed. If you use the scan so you cannot burrow, then you siege up right next to the drones and try to kill them. Because one of the most common tactics is burrowing the drones. They use the scan and the drones then still would go down to the tank shot. But Humbering House knows exactly what's up, so he doesn't do that, he just pulls them away, keeps them alive, also has had a plague on those Valkyries, which means Voss is just gonna throw them away and replace them, because low HP Valkyries going down in a huge important fight within a matter of seconds might end up costing you the game. And it's not something he wants. 
so yeah, just gonna turn, turn the sound down a little bit. He's setting himself up a nice arc here. Around Humber Cassizer's base, he's got turrets there on every single side to try and deny vision of those sides, but mostly he's got everything here in the front to get control over this entire frontal portion and hopefully catch Humber Cassizer sleeping with his Lurker Swarm in the front, just like this. He got caught sleeping, Lurker Swarm is too late, Lurkers have gone down, but he has himself set up for another attack. And the Scorchers are trying to kill those Valkyries, but it doesn't work, so he cannot get access to his Festus there in the back. That's now moving forward. I think they're gonna go for the Defilers. No, they're gonna go for the Drones. Straight for the Drones, and he goes for the Eraser move. And he gets his Valk. Ooh, the Vessel goes down just before he can get a single kill. And he got the Lurk Swarm up there in the front. Voss's tanks are right on top of those Lurkers. And his tanks there go down. Also, he managed to sneak out the drop here. This is very important. He managed to sneak it out, but I think it got spotted out by this engineering bay. There by Voss, who's gonna now pair himself forward, I'm sure. Because he's making a lot new turrets there to keep those overlords, prevent those overlords from flying in too deep. Also, he's got this here in between the overlords and his destination. It's gonna take a while, but he's gonna fly into that base. Also, he's still trying to progress in the front, where there's the Phylus here with energy. And it's just gonna keep Dark swarming those Lurkers. So now the Overlords are arriving inside of Voss's base, but there's Valkyries there to intercept them. He tries to split them up, but I think they're all gonna go down, and the attempt fails and falls flat. Voss goes for the Ha-Ha, though it's written as Keke, but you still pronounce it as ha pretty much. There's a lot of Valkyries here though, there's 14 Valkyries I think he's got there. Uh, yeah, Humber is just trying to scale up, he doesn't have that many drones, he's down 67, once again he moves overwards to the Valkyries. Absolutely disgusting move here from Voss, clearing out all those Valkyries and Humber Kassus can pretty much do nothing against it. And he's got control over the hills here now as well, both sides here on the left and the right. Boss very slowly progressing. He's pretty much right outside of the Lurker range. He managed to kill a Lurker with a Radiate there. Good pickup. Uh, Valkyries once again got Plague. Gonna control over the sides here as well to kill those Spores. He is making life impossible for Humber Kasasu, who can pretty much do nothing but stand here and watch himself burn to the ground with everything being set up here for the Terran. It is honestly very difficult for the Zerg to play this once you have reached this stage, but it is possible, it is definitely possible, but it will be a very, a very hard fought battle for him here. It's gonna be very difficult. Or at least throwing away Valkyries once again. Lurkers going into the front, but they get shut down by those tanks pretty much instantly, so they don't get far. Well, the Lurker Swarm does go down, but I think Voss can just waltz in right here on the sides and still set up his tanks and go for a progression deeper into Hopper Kassas' base. Also pruning the sides here of this plant, killing those hatches there on the side, putting more tanks up on the hill there, making the base for Hopper Kassasu very, very, very small, which is not fun. Not fun as a player, but it is something you'll have to deal with. And loads of uh, highlights there up on the hill, Deal with those tanks up on the hill. I think it's gonna do the exact same thing on the other side there as well. Or, oh, he's gonna load up another drop. But I think he's gonna just clear out the tanks on the hill first. I don't think he's gonna go for a drop on the base this time. I think he's just gonna secure his base first. But there's Valkyries already on the way to intercept it because Hob Boss knows that those tanks there are a vulnerability to overlord drops because Hamburg Assassin has already tried it before. So the Valkyries there preventing that from happening, so instead he's just gonna unload here on the low ground, but looks like Voss already has tanks ready to be loaded up on the high ground, although he uses a Dark Swarm, which should protect those workers from going down. More tanks setting up inside of Humber Kassasu's base, Valkyries moving from side to side, flying around the spores, because he can't fly over the spores, because he will lose them. He clears out the side here, so that's a very small progression, but tanks down here up on the hill as well. And the contain from Voss is actually absolutely disgusting. This is disgusting. Down to the T. Radiates there coming down on the filers to prevent those very annoying lyrical swarms from being up and continuing and persisting. 
it's pretty much his only way of surviving are Lurkus cards, but Lurkus are bugging into each other so he can't really progress deeper and closer towards those tanks there on the side. And he's losing all of his Defilers there as well, has no Lurkus arms at the moment, just Lurkers by themselves. The Defilers are gonna be forced to pull back, he's regrouping them, Voss knows he's won, and that's just a GG. That's just a GG, that's pretty much just a complete starvation. Not in a sense of minerals, but just complete starvation and isolation in the sense of completely taking away every single freedom of the Zerg player. Voss just completely robbed him of his freedom. And there was there there were some things Harper Hansen could have done, but he didn't go for them because you have to make choices. Do I go for option A, B, or C? Plus, it's just very difficult to play that situation all together. I'm sure there are other options. So for example, going for mass Zerglings with those um, needle discs that he had. I've seen Scan do that. It worked really well for him against JH, aka Voss in particular. But Humber Kasasu is not one of the players who believes in doing that specific option. A really, really, really disgusting game. That's still somewhat amusing, but nonetheless disgusting. Alright, so it's time to move on to uh, the second game, because there's two TVZs. And I want to get into the second one to see how that one plays out, because it should be rather interesting to see and behold how that one goes. Alright, so for the second game, as is tradition, players always swap their races. So now we've got Voss here on the Zerg and Humber Kazasu there on the Terran. That's something we've seen many, many times before, and we're seeing it once again. So Humber's house has some things to say about last time, and Voss is just being humble. Or maybe he's being cocky and arrogant. I don't know, I can't read this. Just like the, the face that he did. This face, there on the chat. It's kind of like, I always think it's like um, a somewhat of cocky but humble looking smile. It really depends on how you interpret it. So two, two, well I don't know if that's a barrack and a depot, not two barracks. I thought it was two barracks just before a depot, because, but it's a barrack into a depot, into a barracks. Nothing out of the ordinary, barrack number three coming in there as well. Hatcher here in the front for Voss. Pool on the way there, of course, there's a pool. It pretty much always comes after the hatchery. Although, unless you're playing Zerg versus Protoss, or going for some kind of cheesy, cheesy build order, in which case you would go for hatchery, hatchery, pool. Sometimes we've even seen hatchery, 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 pool. Alright, so Hamburg Asasu here has luck on his side. He finds Voss on his very first attempt, gets a bunker up in the front, Marines arriving on the scene there as well, and he's slowly in the process of taking down that one sunken there. It's definitely gonna go down before it turns into a sunken, but Zerg is now on the way. There's a sunken there in the back, but I don't think the bunker can hit that sunken there in the back, but he's gonna get some damage down on that hatchery here. The sunken bit. Both sunkens have finished in the back there. One sunken goes down. That is Zerg are trying to go in and kill those SCVs, but the SCVs are actually just outside of the sunken range. So that one is going to keep on being repaired time and time again. Forcing Voss to make a lot of Zerglings and pull some drones to the front there. But I think this might already spell a pretty, pretty bad game here for Voss. Because this is definitely something that's going in favor of Harper Kasasu. Hatchery very close to dying, he's waiting for more Zerg, he's waiting for those Sunkens in the back there to finish up, he's gotta get those Sunkens up and running very very quick. He really has to kill those SCVs there in the back, but because those Marines are there as well, those Zerglings can never kill those SCVs, so now he tries to go in to buy some time, but no, it's not gonna work, Sunkens in the back are finally finishing up, he goes in, the Hatchery's still alive, Hatchery's gonna go down, no, the Hatchery's still on 32 HP, he's buying time, but I don't think he's gonna buy himself enough time because the Hatchery there goes down, it was a great attempt, but it didn't work, very close to working, he was trying to buy time by making the bunker focus on those Zerglings instead of the, the hatchery. The attempt was great, but he fell short by just a little bit. Alright, Tasha now very sloppily losing some Marines there, can happen to the best. Lifted up a barracks, but the barracks is going to get spotted out by this overlord here, you can see right there. 
He is finally has a couple more drones. He lost a lot of drones purely because he had to send more drones to the front and also because he had to make more Zerglings than he would have wanted to make. Humber Kasazu though did have three SCVs there in the front repairing the bunker. Repairing the bunker costs him minerals. SCVs not being on the minerals costs him minerals so he's actually not that far ahead of his opponent but that one hatchery there going down is a huge loss there for Voss because that means he has to wait pretty long before he has that third hatchery that can produce units and drones and overlords whatever he needs he gets slowed down as you can see his drone count is only on 16 but as usually it would be over 23 by now which he isn't at the moment he's got a late layer he's definitely going for lurkers because he's got a den on the way there too that is a little bit early in its production stage not perfectly synced up with the lair, but he has it, which is the one thing that counts is having it. Not so much the timing. But the barrack over the drones. But Voss can still click and send his drones to his minerals though, so nothing for him to worry about, but maybe he doesn't know. Maybe he doesn't know. Like there's a very tiny spot here where you can still send it, though I can't because I'm in um, replay observer mode. So I can't click on it, but as a player you can click on it. On high list finished up, Lurker Aspect on the way, and Humber Kassas has got a tank there on the middle and a starport on the way there as well for vessels or for a dropship, one of the two. Maybe a Wraith, that's also an option. So he made another two barracks here in his base for a total of four, if we exclude the one that is hovering here over his mineral patch, he's adding on more gazers, adding in, well he added on some summits in the front there as well, adding another one behind it just to add more volume for Hamburg Sazu to go through with his tank. And yeah, it's going to be a science facility here, so that's going to be for a vessel. I don't think we're going to be seeing a dropship. He might go for a dropship, but I don't think he's going to go for it because it costs gas, and he might need that gas for a radiate and a vessel to detect those lurkers that are going to be on the way very soon for Voss. I might have cast this game actually, I'm not too sure. I might have cast this one. It looks familiar. It looks familiar. To be honest, all this looks familiar. So in he goes. Stims his marines into the sunkens. There's a lot of marines there stimming into the sunkens. And I think he's gonna break through. It's gonna take a little while longer though, but most of those marines are still alive. He pulls a lot of drones into the front to try and make new sunkens, but I don't think it's gonna be on time. The workers there are very close to finishing up. There's a lot of volume still to go through. Sunkens finishing up. Set tanks in the back are moving forward now as well. And my, this might be it. This might already be it. This looks so familiar. This looks so familiar. Ooh, and down go the, the, the Marines. Actually, I think I had a game like this, but the other way around, where it was... Wait, it was Levi against Humber Kasasu. Alright, so I haven't cast this game yet. It just looks very familiar. That's the thing. But sometimes situations are ex almost exactly the same as in the previous game. Fessel coming in there, moving forward into the Lurker. Lurker goes down. Harper Kasasu is going to be victorious on this one. Though he isn't being greedy, he's going to take this very slow, slow and steady, moving forward. Not being greedy. Not taking his chances, although there's pretty much no risk whatsoever involved right here. Over there, moving over the hill though. There's a Lurker in there. There's a lurker in there, and he knows he's gonna get that one on the SCVs. He just wants to kill those SCVs. In he goes, boom, 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 ba, ba, boom. Well, the SCVs have run away, so that's didn't actually get that much done. He's trying to defend with the lurker and the zerglings there, but it's not gonna work. And he killed the lurker there in the back as well. So he's just gonna wind up losing his base there. One more lurker has finished, drones are going down, oh, a lot of drones are going down. But that means we actually have one of those times where the Zerg loses in both games, which is never... Always feels a bit bad, but the Zerg always loses. You want the Zerg to be victorious sometimes around, because it kind of always looks like the Zerg is just... Being, s being strangled to death. Being strangled to death. So yeah, that's um, a win for both players. There is another game in here, but that game is way too long to cast, so I just wanted to do a very quick and short one. 
hope this one was kind of amusing. I hope you liked this one. And if you didn't, well, we can't always please everyone. But we aim to. But it is physically impossible. So yeah, thanks for watching. And I um, hope you see you next time around as well. I hope you don't mind the new sound of my new mic. Which is a blue snowball, as it is called. It is not as good as the Yeti, but the Yeti is simply more expensive. Pretty much double the price for a negligible sound increase. So the quality of my voice has gone down a tiny little bit, but not significantly. So thanks for watching. Hope to be seeing you back uh, next time around. Hope you enjoyed this. And stay cool. Stay cool, my brother. <laughs>